So I never really appreciated books back when I was a kid. Uh, I always remember in school, uh, especially in like primary, secondary school when we had assignments, we'd be taken in then to, it was like this like little school library. We would then have to pick a book, have about a week or so to read it, and then we'd have to write up an assessment on it. And I always remember picking a book that I had already watched a film of. So I remember one memory of Going in, I saw Lord of the Rings of Two Towers. I just watched the film like twice, and I thought this will just be an easy assignment. I can ream off the film, just write it down. I know everything about it. Ultimately, the teacher knew because the books actually don't really match up exactly with the films, and I was just basically depicting the plot word for word from the films, so that didn't really last very long. But when I was younger, I never really fully appreciated books at all until like my mid to late 20s, so until the past couple of years. And then about five or so years ago, uh, I decided to go ahead and buy myself the Amazon Kindle Paperwhite. Uh, I think at the time I'd just been reading more and more. I just wanted to have the flexibility of when I say went on holidays or went away somewhere. It was a bit easier than just taking a handful of physical books with me. Um, so it was great for that. And then fast forward to today. I'd passed on my older paper white to my partner. Uh, her, she had one like the original. I'm not even sure if it was called a paper white back then, uh, but hers had started to break a bit. It was one that didn't have a backlight, so you couldn't really read it in bed. So I gave her my one. Got the newer uh, paper white, which I think came out in 2020 or 2021. I'm just making up numbers now, but it is the most recent one with USB C. And it's been absolutely fantastic. So in the world of physical versus digital, digital versus physical, um, it's just like the feel of a real book. So I have like quite a chunk of oh god, let me drop them. Quite a chunk of real books here. I've got even more behind me, even more there. And to be honest, just the actual feel of a real book in your hands. It almost just feels like it's the, the most authentic way to read it. I mean, well, basically it is words on paper and all that. But there's just something about a physical book that I don't think can really be replaced. I don't really see it as being physical uh, versus digital, one versus the other. Um, more of digital has its place, so does the physical paper books. It's just having both to help you read more and enjoy it more. And having different options for when you're reading. With that being said though, the actual having a Kindle, having the Paperwhite, is just having that like convenience and ease of being able to buy a book within a couple of seconds. So going on to Amazon, clicking buy and then having it immediately to read and having it the option to be able to read it from wherever you are. So whether you're going on holidays and you don't want to take up so much space in your suitcase or you're just nipping out or you're going away on a long weekend, it's just nice to have that option of it being smaller, more portable. You've pretty much got an entire library at your fingertips wherever you're going without taking up all that space. Uh, so for me, that's one of like the key benefits for having something like a Paperwhite. Not only that, it has, well, at least for the newer model I have, it has great battery life. I rarely charge, I mean, every two or three weeks maybe, but it's getting down to about 30% or so. So it has a fantastic battery life, it lasts weeks and weeks. Having that portable library wherever you're going, it's got great build quality. So I mean, from a previous one, I had it for about five years or so, and I would take it on holidays, chuck it around, dropped it tons, brought it to the beach, pretty sure it got soaked in water a few times and it's the older one that my partner still has is still working to this day so I've always felt like they have a pretty decent build quality whereas if you drop a paper book in a, in a bit of water it's probably going to do a bit more damage. I mean I wouldn't drown your paper white or Kindle in water anyway but I just feel like it's got decent build quality and then along with that being able to read it now I think is a big one because if my partner's asleep putting on like the bedside lights we have it's pretty light so it's not as easy just to grab say a physical book lie in bed and read it without having a light I can't actually read it whereas having a paper white I can just 
swip it on, whether I'm in bed, here, there, everywhere, but especially when it comes to nighttime, it's just much easier reading on it, I think. I don't need to have a bedside table light on. I guess just to conclude all of this, it's, for me, it's not really just a case of digital's better or physical's better or it's digital versus physical. I will always prefer having physical books to read in hand. There's just something about it. But that being said, I'll still always have my Kindle always in close proximity and I'll always pick this thing up. I'll always have it near me. It'll either be on my bedside table or somewhere close by. And it's just something that I think having both options, at least for me, has helped me read more, appreciate reading. It's made it easier for me. And yes, although the experience of going into a used bookshop seeing people chatting with them actually physically seeing the books that really can't be rivaled online yes it is easier just going on amazon clicking buying one book boom second later i can just whip it open i can read it yeah i guess it's for me it's not digital versus physical it's just having both those options having the options just to read in different ways for me is what's what's important and it's just being able to read easier and then having those options just uh, opens it up so thank you, hopefully you found this useful. It'd be good to know if you have a Kindle, or if you prefer physical or digital, or if you like a mixture of both like me, but let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.